Hey what is up you guys, this is Nacho here and welcome back to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. In today's video I'm going to be giving you guys some details about the new XEON weapon in Infinite Warfare that not too many people seem to know about so let's get right into it. Now this video is going to be short and sweet and it's just going to be demonstrating some things that people seem to often overlook when choosing this weapon. Now for starters, when you aim down sights and you hip fire, your fire rates are actually different. Now what do I mean by that? Let me demonstrate with this next in-game audio clip. As you guys can hear, when you ADS, the fire rate goes a lot faster. It's kind of more of a type 2, and when you hip fire it, it becomes a lot of a slower firing rate weapon. This is the only weapon, as far as I know, in Infinite Warfare that does this, um, other than the RPR or other hybrid weapons that kind of have similar traits, uh, but none that when you ADS, uh, it changes, other than the MV4 Chaos, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, but this is the only common gun that has this trait added to it for whatever reason, and many people don't seem to know this. Uh, so when you guys are hip firing and you're finding yourself losing a lot of gunfights Nine times out of ten, it's because you don't realize that the hip fire rate on this gun is actually a lot slower. Now, the hip fire spread, if you're looking at it right now on screen, is actually pretty tight. It's one of the tightest in all of Call of Duty, to be honest. If I were to lay down, let's say, for example, right here on this wall, and I just sprayed into this wall randomly, you would see that most of the bullets in my pattern, this is a decent distance away, most of the bullets are in a pretty tight pattern. Now, if you were to do this with another gun, it would look way different. Now here I am, I'm going to try to attempt to do the same thing with this Type 2, and as you can see, it's not even going to be close. You're going to fire this, and I don't even need to shoot the whole clip, you guys can already see. It's not even close how good the hipfire is on the XEON compared to other assault rifles. Now, another thing I want to mention about this gun is you'll notice is as you walk around, your hipfire increases like any other gun, but when you're walking around, if you were to jump, your hip fire spread actually tightens as opposed to if you were actually just walking. Now, if I'm walking, I jump, it tightens. As soon as I start walking, it becomes wider again, and when I jump, it tightens. Now, that leads me to believe that this gun is good when you're trying to fly around and hip fire people. Just don't be right next to them because nine times out of ten, you're gonna lose the gunfight because of the slower fire rate. But I figured I'd point this stuff out to a lot of people because I feel like they do not realize that that's how this gun works. This gun has one of the best, if not the best, hip fires in all of Infinite Warfare right now. And just keep in mind that the fire rates are completely different whether you're ADSing or hip firing. I was going to upload the creative class or best class setup for this gun and the VPR tonight, but you know, sadly, I haven't used these guns enough to really, you know, have a lot of confidence and tell you guys which class setup is the best class setup. So I will be dropping those two videos tomorrow, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick informative video about the new weapon in Infinite Warfare. If you guys would like to see more, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And as always, my name is Papa Nacho. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, Nacho Nation. <laughs>